same day you receive the confirmation that okay you are part of the lead off and you suddenly and immediately your mail get is deactivated your slack your login tools everything get deactivated uh it happens at the same day cut off from everything uh, overall you are out from the company in the same day when the call comes that you have been in the list of uh, layoffs it's very shocking sudden and you always want to know like why why me why us that but the answer is there there's actually no reason and that's that is very confusing it was a fine day and we will be like working like on our daily careers and uh, there is a news uh, that uh, some i uh, we got in social media we actually got to know from the social media like twitter uh, or as you has have mentioned like there can be some team cuts and we it was not expected in our team and when the mail comes like everybody in the shop okay some mail can be shooted to someone it is whoever can be receive the mail i mean this decision was not even in the hands of uh, our managers or directors reporting managers all of sudden you have from another day you see you don't have to sign in it it happens you, you don't have to you just get up okay i need to log in i need to start my but you know no now nothing is there uh so it takes a good uh, amount of time to process this emotionally thank you ritika morya for joining us uh, today we are joined with ritika morya ex employee of unacademy thank you ashutosh for having me thank you yeah so ritika please uh, give us a brief introduction about you, yourself uh, sure sure uh, so i have been in this industry from last 3 years i have uh, experience in uh, digital marketing and uh, operations and uh, i have been based out on bangalore i basically am from madhya pradesh okay ritika so my first question to you is uh, that you were handed over the pink slip uh from your pre- previous org- organization so i want to know the what happened that day uh so when there was rumors uh, i should not say that rumors actually it was ha- it has been happening in the edtech industry we can see like right uh, vidhan zubair juice and an academy they it was all in names that uh, layoffs are going on so somewhere everybody in our company has expected that it can come when it's uh the team cuts has been happening so it was not that uh, you know unexpected to us i should say us because with me there are many more team members uh, that has been uh, let off same day so uh it was uh, expected but i have been a good performer i have also uh, got uh, nominations and rewards so i did not particularly ex- expected i would be in that uh, list but unfortunately when it came uh, i had to face that and it was like uh, uh, sudden it's all sudden we get the call that it's the work term is going to end by today the same day so it was quite a uh, talk of for me can you please narrate the uh, journey uh, since when you were working with the organization and what were the feats that you have achieved with the organization yes i had joined an academy uh, from uh, 2020 december 2020 exactly 2 years ago and when i joined it was a uh, kind of uh, lockdown situation right in india second phase of corona uh, it was quite in a boom the online edtech market was in a boom and i was very excited to join i have worked in operations that is my niche and uh, i gradually i moved to the cdr positions as well this is good learning all the training and support i have been provided it was good uh, but i was expecting to grow more with the company right total strength is around 5000 employees were there when i joined two years back right? and i can say after all the phases of uh, layoff uh it has been happening two three rounds in a, in this two years of span the current strength might be around 3000 employees but i would like to mention that whatever has happened in this company they have made it public like it has been coming up in the news like 10% of the workforce is getting laid off or sometime 500 or 1000 people has been going so i think it has been first announced by uh, the leaders of the company that i i would really uh, appreciate that they have always been open and clear about 
what has been happening inside the organization uh, so yeah strength uh, has gone very less now and uh, for my journey i was saying that i have joined two years ago when the online market was a boom right so gradually when everything started opening working offline right so the adtech specifically got affected and i think that what made us uh, my role right as a company as a team to be affected by this we can say yes after this uh, uh, the change that have happened uh, initially it was a uh, sudden lockdown right and then uh, again st- uh, started of the uh, r- removal of the lockdown that where the industry were not prepared right so that can have, have an impact you know when you are uh, prepared when you are re- ready to leave the job right we are already searching and you have decided everything but when it's all of sudden when you are seeing your growth in the current company you are working the dedication you are doing all your performance very good then it's a hard to digest right it had to digest to the family also because they are not aware like what lay of terms are they might always be thinking ki okay it's a performance issue my child is not doing good in career right so this this is what is mostly perceived and by other people by industry people even hrs if you approach for the job to them and we are saying like okay we got impacted by your but why you were there any issue so this is the problem it comes when you have been uh, laid off and without any specific reason you also saying that uh, there is no performance issue you have been a good performer that that makes it a really tough situation right because i have and that is also an immediate basis right? if you could have given two weeks of notice that probably makes sense but i would not uh, give a, a thumbs up on that that company should do that and uh, kind of immediate thing we should make always prepare your employees for that something that is coming up and uh, personally also it affect because uh, the time and uh, effort i'm going to spend in the new in the new job search first of all it would take some time for me to process it that how how and why me it happens actually we say ki okay this is happening in all, all over the uh, industry but when it comes to us i have seen my uh, teammates i think i have had cope up because honestly i would uh, i was already searching in a job i was already ready to come out with this uh, company because somehow i have had a sense that something with that night like that may happen to me so but i have seen my company uh, team members who has just joined within 2 uh, 3 months happened for some people 7 6 months happened they had came with a very good expectation okay we will be good performing we will be staying here but i have seen a very uh, great disappointment and kind of depression i i must would like to mention it creates when somebody fresher is joining it will definitely give them a a thought like okay if i am not enough i would say i have been in this industry and so i have i'm a little bit prepared but i, I feel bad for the fresher who has been joining and have been part of this i want to know the how difficult is it for you to get a job in this uh, scenario where the markets are not that good i i, I would really say this is a great question ashutosh and this needs to be addressed i i would like to say uh, that package is something people most hr they perceive and if you see on linkedin overall it's mentioned like okay if you have been laid off you should be probably okay with whatever p- package you get uh, or just a minimal increase or at the same amount but this is not at all fair because uh, i i don't think we should have should be compromising on the package first thing and the uh, another challenge we face is finding the suitable role it takes time right it takes time because uh, you have to get to fit in the job right you have to get the uh, role that uh, that can actually uh, you would want it right? so, so that you don't compromise so, because you have been let off you you are in a search of job you are you have emi to pay so you will just jump into any kind of job that makes a little bit time pressure because i have seen most of my uh, teammates they are like me whatever i get i should be joining because i have financial commitments 
uh, that's how it has uh, affected negatively yes ritika yeah. i would like to know what were your terms of appointment were all the appointment terms were compliance by, uh, while you were leading the company were you allowed to pay uh, serve the notice period that was mentioned in your documents and what was the notice period that you served mm-hmm. and what was mentioned what about the severance package was there any mention of the severance package uh when i joined uh, in the appointment letter it was uh, severance uh, terms were not mentioned but we have always have this notice period that either party who terminates right so that will be paying so i i would um, like to mention that yes i got my fnf everything settlement and severance pay from an academy i received that for the notice period that we needed to serve i, I did not serve a notice period uh because it was like uh, what to say uh, same day uh, end of the working so the notice period amount was has been paid by uh, the company i would like to know about the day uh, when you got the news and whether you received a mail or a call from hr what exactly happened and how that uh, affected you it was a fine day and we will be like working like on our daily careers and uh, there is a news uh, that uh, some i we got in social media we actually got to know from the social media like twitter uh, or as you has have mentioned that like, there can be some team cuts and we it was not expected in our team and when the mail comes like everybody in shock okay some mail can be shooted to someone it's whoever can be receive the mail i mean this decision was not even in the hands of Uh, our managers or directors reporting managers and it has been said like it was said like i don't know on what basis it has been done because they say it's not decided by the manager so randomly were there is no clue on what basis it has been if the cxo level people has also decided then there should be some criteria for the nomination so uh, when the call comes that you have been in the list of uh, layoffs it's very shocking sudden and you always want to know like why why me why us but the answer is there there's actually no reason and that's that is very confusing right so when by, one by one our team members was were getting away like it was very disappointing and all sudden of uh, you know fl- uh, flood of emotions right because we don't we can have a different job but the team members you have been emotionally connected you have been working regularly and it's you not mentally prepared and it all of sudden you have from another day you see you don't have to sign in it it happens you don't have to you just get up okay i need to log in i need to start my but you know no now nothing is there uh so it takes a good amount of time to process this emotionally same day you receive the confirmation that okay you are part of the laid off and you suddenly and immediately your mail get is deactivated your slack your login tools everything get deactivated uh it happens at the same day cut off from everything uh, overall you are out from the company in the same day uh yes so what was the strength that was cut off from the organization on that day and how it has impacted you talked about your colleagues your friends that to whom with whom you had a emotional connect how it has impacted their lives um yeah we are uh, in connected and we am in touch with uh, my all of the teammates we are still in the job hunting you know we are doing the interviews but i would mention that it's taking the same efforts for everybody to take this emotionally and mostly on financial right because the problem is the package we are not uh, really getting it or the industry fit we should be right that is taking time and it is a hit on their financial because i, I could say i am still uh, not having a family but my teammates who are having family children uh, family emi is like they, it's very tough for them to process All the best Ritika all the best for your life and thank you for joining us thank you for sharing your insights i wish you all the best for your future endeavors